Hey guys, welcome to the first of two vlogs that I'm planning on doing today for you. And uh, seeing as we're coming towards the end of the month, I thought I would take the opportunity on this wonderful bank holiday Monday. I'm not at work, it's Monday. I'm not at work, it is so good. Um, so yeah, I am doing my March favourites vlog now and then later on. I'm going to do my March empties. As usual, there are 15 things that I have liked throughout this month. And let's begin with number one, which was my favourite nail varnish. Um, it's this, which is still contained inside its box, because I'm laying all like that. But I had a bit of a, a clear out over the last couple of days. Some things I've just chucked away. And I've decided not to be so anal and to chuck away the boxes for giving myself more room for me to have more nail varnishes and other stuff that I want to uh, buy for myself. Uh, anyway, now that we've taken out of the box, here is the nail varnishing collection. Hopefully you can see there's not so much of a glare with the sun. It's from Avon's Colour Trend range and it's called Delicious Berry. And as you can see, it's a very soft, delicate pink shade, which is absolutely ideal for wearing in the office. I can't remember how much I paid for it, uh, but what I can tell you is that the quality is excellent considering it's their low range product. I like to change my nail colour at least once a week, usually on a Sunday evening. And what I noticed after wearing this for a week, there was no chipping, no nothing. At number two, what was my favourite hair product? And this month there are two products I've enjoyed using the shampoo and a conditioner and they are from Herbal Essence and it is their Hello Hydration Moisturising Shampoo and Conditioner. Now before I carry on talking about these let me just say look at the colour just look at the colour gorgeous just like the products themselves when I'm using these the scent which is coconut really really does and it's on the back of the this leaves me feeling washed do feeling my hair i'm washing it under the waterfall on some tropical islands miles and miles and miles away from here and then boom i'm back under my shower and ball in Brandes Grove. okay number three what was my favorite handbag to use and it is this one here as you can see it's rather snazzy but the obvious so like the gold change this is what kind of attracted me to this handbag in the first place and just plunked it over one shoulder now i actually bought this from primark about two years ago for the grand total price of 10 pounds it is perfect as i've already said for work uh as it has several pockets we have one here we have two inside we have little tiny ones here there's a little one in the middle they're literally bloody everywhere really um and, and that's great because it's ideal for me to keep my essentials in um and also excellent for carrying my bowls back and forth from work to home so that i can bring them home with me to catch up and not my to do it in the office um to be honest this handbag actually surprises me that it's still one piece uh, and, and basically looks as new as it did when I first bought it because uh, I've, I've never really heard anything good about Primark when it comes to the quality of the things. It's usually supposed to be really bad quality but this just proves that not everything from Primark is poor quality. And number four, what was my favourite shoes to wear in March? And it is these heeled lace-up shoes that I've got. I love wearing these into the office when I can handle being thrust forward up and like to my kiddies for a long, long period of time. And I can quite honestly say that usually after wearing these all day, the first thing I do when I get in through the front door is hoist them off my feet and throw them up all as far away from me as possible. Now, these were originally from Primark, but obviously whoever originally bought these never wore them, as I actually found these in a charity shop for just a few quid. Um, I won't say as they're the most comfortable shoes because as I've already described, as soon as I like to get home, I do chuck them off my feet. Um, but I can certainly keep them on my feet 
all day whilst at work. I certainly couldn't walk to work and all that, I'll tell you that much. But they add height to my statue, which is good because I'm a midget. And they also look great with my green leather skirt. I love that the days off work. I get to look like a mess at home and nobody knows, knows anything about it. Other than you guys. Um, right, okay, number five. What was my favourite accessory? And it is these green stud earrings. These were a gift from my daughter Jessica. She bought them a few Christmases ago now. And as you can see, they were very cute and very dainty. A bit like me. Um, obviously, I do like to keep them in that box alongside this silver wrist bracelet here which to be perfectly honest guys I never wear it I know I should but I just don't I think it's because I, I struggle with getting it around my wrist uh, maybe I should one day get Jessica to help me but then it's going to be stuck on my wrist forever but maybe that's not a bad thing I don't know but as you can see the, the, those earrings are just so cute they've got like a, a blue stone in the middle and then they're surrounded by little diamante diamonds i think not real still very sweet okay number six what was my favorite clothing item oh god i really am looking like a trunk guys please wait one second while i adjust my hair now as i was saying my favorite clothing item this month has been this biker jacket here now this is actually jessica's i have got one of my own jessica actually bought me one last birthday yeah so last december it was my birthday and she bought me one but we're on a bit of a swap seat at the moment because she actually prefers mine to hers so i'm using hers and she's using mine uh which as you can see is, uh, if you've ever seen mine is totally totally different because it's got straps on it and i actually prefer jessica's to mine as well to be perfectly honest now she bought this while she was visiting Krakow in poland last no, not last year, it was about four years ago for now. Um, she wore herself quite a few clothing items while she was visiting over there. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, somewhere I'd like to visit myself one day, which came across this. It's by a company called International, and it's part of the women's wear clothing, and it's in a size 10, which surprises me because it actually fits me up here. Obviously, I can't do it up because of my barbers. Uh, yeah, the puppies here won't let me do so. I love this because it suits me. It suits my rock cheek persona and strangely enough i can actually get away wearing it into the office as well because people will know that's me that's my style at number seven it should be what was my favorite foundation however i can't actually show you it as at this precise moment it is currently within my monthly empties bin so if you want to see what my favorite foundation this month was you'll just have to watch that vlog won't you but all I can say so far is uh, I liked it so much that I have finally used it up after owning it for quite a long time. At number eight, what was my favourite blusher? And it's this one here. I love that shade. I don't know what it's called. But what I can tell you is that it is contained within my Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in the shade Sugar and Spice. I keep forgetting that I have got this absolutely gorgeous blusher, contour and highlight contour, lovely blusher, lovely highlight, lovely. I keep forgetting I've basically got this, um, which is a shame because it was a gift from one of my longest running subscribers ever. Um, as I've already showed you, the shade here is just so lovely and it gives me a real nice brush to the cheeks. Uh, the pigmentation of these blushes and contour and highlighters excellent and as i've already said i really really should use this more and number nine what was my favorite lip product and it's this maybelline superstay gloss lip gloss here that i've had like for a long time once again it was a gift as well and this basically is, is the tits um it really does not budge uh okay maybe it does a little bit um but not a great deal i mean i, I do tend to try and touch it up towards the end of the day at work um just or just before i leave the office but other than that i don't need to worry about it now i'm a smoker and, and i do drink at work as well obviously not alcohol because that's not allowed shame really 
Uh, I could do one of those wine bags. You know those bang bags that look like handbags when they've got, you can keep them. I want one of those. But yeah, I, I can apply this to my face. Well, to my lips really, not to the whole face. Don't do it, guys. Oh, God. Um, but when I want to look immaculate, because we've got um, some clients coming in or whatnot, uh, this is basically perfect for popping into the handbag, just in case I do need to top up, and then I don't have to worry about it coming off and transferring elsewhere. At number 10, what was my favourite mascara to use? And it's this new one from Maybelline. It's their Faultiest Push-Up Drama Mascara. Now, I came across this a few weeks ago while shopping in Asda, and I was like, hello. Who are you? I can't say I've actually seen this advertised on the telly, uh, but the need for it to be in my life was very strong. Uh, plus, it only cost me five pounds. Uh, I won't say I love it because it can clog your lashes together if you apply too much. Uh, but the length and the curl that it creates is absolutely outstanding. Now, for those of you that haven't seen this mascara, I mean, I love the packaging. It's very different to your usual ones. Uh, and that's what the brush like, like, looks like. It's quite long, but the brushes are obviously designed to grip on for that partial drama that you're looking at. Well, looking after, should I say. And it just gives the impression that you've got faulty on when you haven't. Okay, number 11, what was my favourite body product to use this month? And it's this one from Dove. It is a rich, nourishing beauty body moisturiser. And this gives you 24 hour moisturisation. Now, in my opinion, not only is this stuff very reasonable in price, I just love how it leaves my skin. Feeling silky smooth. It's got a very unique smell to it. It's not one I'm going to say is highly pleasurable. But as long as it leaves my skin being soft and subtle, that is all the one requires. And number 12, what was my favourite perfume or body spray? And once again, I would love to show you it. But it is also in my monthly empty spin. So once again, if you want to see what my favourite perfume was, please do watch that vlog. 13, what was, what was my favourite face product? And this is this new night moisturiser from L'Oreal. It is their triple active comforting moisturiser for all skin types, for it hydrates, protects and regenerates. It offers 24 hour hydration, it protects because it's enriched with ceramide and this formula helps protect the skin against dryness. So upon waking in the morning, skin looks fresher and more radiant and the complexion looks more rested. And it also is very good for regeneration. Because uh, thanks to its exfoliating action, surface skin cell renewal is stimulated, radiance is regenerated, and skin feels smooth and much more beautiful. I need shitloads of this then. No, I, I came across it um, a couple of weeks ago. I was shopping in my local Morrison's, and I knew that I needed to get a new night moisturiser. So I came across this. It was an offer for five pounds. That's what it looks like out of the box. Just a simple. Brush jar, pick up all the bits that come with it, and the per it's, it's, it's got a perfume smell to it. I want to say it's very, very in your face. I've only been using it for the last couple of weeks, so I can't really comment on whether it is doing anything different to my skin than it normally does. I am wearing makeup in case you are wondering, guys. I'm not going to stand here and go, I don't know, this is how I naturally look, because it's not. Trust me, it just is not. You guys saw me without my makeup. You would be running in the opposite direction, screaming, help me, help me, save me. What is this thing? Yeah, that's 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 how it is. So, as I said, I, I need to be using plenty of this to keep um, my skin looking good. Right, number 14, what was my favourite shower gel or bubble bath? And I actually haven't got one this month because me and Jess have been trying to use up all the scratchy bits left in bottles that we've got knocking around in the bathroom. So chances are you'll get to see more of those in my monthly empty plug than you will in this vlog because, as I said, we've just been trying to use them up. Uh, I think we've got quite a few done now, but there's still plenty to go. And finally, we have come to the last one, which is number 15, and it is, what was my favourite food or drink? And I just kind of 
help myself today guys it is after all easter monday although i don't actually celebrate easter because of me being a pagan i do like some of their traditions which includes chocolate easter eggs and and i was really lucky this year i got two yay i got one from our finance manager mr nilly bless his lovely little socks and i also believe it or not i got one from stuart's mum and dad just didn't even get me one how disgusting is that? I spent shitloads on hers. I wanted to buy something really spectacular this year. So I was in Tesco's and I came across this one by a company called Le, And it's this big, fat, massive white chocolate egg. With this beautiful blue icing and stuff going through it like that. And there was like a little tray of really posh, delicate little chocolates that came with them as well. And it was only a tenner. But... You know, wanted to push the boat out, so just going and get them some crappy one for quid. So she says she liked it. She hasn't ate it all, obviously, because she's not a fat greedy peach like me. But she didn't get me one. No, that makes me sad because I like chocolate. I love chocolate, and basically, um, anything chocolate based, I, I will, I will eat or drink. For example, while shopping in Tesco's at the weekend, um, same time I got that Easter egg for Jessica, I, I came across this tea from Tesco's Finest. And it's a rich and smooth chocolate tea. It's weird. It's like what they've done basically is combined tea, black, normal black tea, with real cocoa and vanilla. So it gives like a really sweet, gentle, fragrant taste. And 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 it's and it's awesome. And I've, I've been having like a couple of these before I go to bed, just to unwind with. And it's weird because you can't you can't smell the chocolate in it, but you can bloody taste it once it's done. I'd like to leave it to brew for a good four to five minutes first. Once it's brewed, awesome. Just mom. So yeah, as you might have gathered, I like chocolate. I like it a lot. Uh, and that concludes this vlog. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch it. If you do, uh, if you've got any questions, please do feel free to leave your comments down below. Ask me what you want, and I should do my best to answer you. Once again, no, I haven't done an update video this month. Once again, all I can do really is apologise. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to do it. I know I do. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but <sighs> time goes by really, really quickly. Anyway. I am now going to go because one wants to now record the next vlog for you lovely, lovely subbies to watch. So until then, do take care of yourselves and uh, I'll see you soon. Try for now.